what's going on guys and welcome to another video where today we're going to be doing the wheels and calipers on my Audi S3. So this is what I have for the wheels and the calipers. Um, this is just some black primer, uh, yellow paint for the calipers. I'm going to go yellow just like I did in my old car. Four cans of gloss black and one can of lacquer. Um, so yeah, basically I don't really think I'll be using all of these, although I guess I could do just to make it so they've got a huge coat on, but hopefully we'll have enough of everything and I won't need any more than that for the calipers, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I am going to take the calipers off and actually hang them up and do them properly because I'm not really in a rush. I'm going to have the car on jack stands um, on the driveway and then I can just crack on. And if it takes a couple of days, it takes a couple of days. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got all the caps off and you can actually pop these Audi rings out by just pushing these down and they'll all pop out. And then I'm just going to probably wet sand all these, make them all smooth enough as possible, uh, primer them. And then I'm going to sand the primer as well for that extra smooth finish. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get the car in the air. I'm just waiting for this car to be moved and then uh, we'll go ahead and get on the air. So there we go, got all my rings out, the center caps, and I've got all the center caps here ready to be wet sanded, and yeah, let's get started again. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead, I've finished sanding all the wheels down, I'm going to go ahead and start with the one I first did originally, just because I know it's going to be completely dry from water. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these cards, get them around the bead, and then go ahead and put our first, um, our first layer of primer. Yeah, here we go. Right, let's go ahead and get this shit done then. All right, guys, so I've literally just finished the whole can of primer and like already looks really good and this is only primer like this is this stuff actually goes matte after it's dry but yeah this stuff is looking good but um i've literally done all four wheels with this one can and it's basically empty now but i've done all four wheels and the caps i still need to do the nuts but yeah, so this is how it sort of looks when they're dry. It's like a matty. And then after that, just uh, put the gloss black paint on, lacquer it, and it should look perfect. So, uh, yeah, it's pitch black now. And it is only, um, what time is it? Uh, I don't even know, to be honest, it's probably like half six, six o'clock. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next clip. Okay, guys, so next day, I've literally just finished putting another coat. Well, the first coat, I can't remember if I did the first coat last night of paint. And as you guys can see, it's already looking decent. And I've gone and put paint on the caps as well which look pretty damn good and just some more paint on the rusty uh heads of them and uh yeah let these dry i might actually start taking off the calipers i'm gonna go ahead and start with the front ones i think because i know the front ones are gonna be a lot easier than the rear um should be some big ass bolts down there somewhere but we will find out so uh yeah let's get started okay guys sorry i got completely distracted um since i last spoke to you guys i've put 
about three layers of lacquer on each wheel. As you guys can see, they look very nice. Indeed, even better on camera to be fair. Um, and the caps as well, everything's still drying, so they're not going to be absolutely perfect. But uh, yeah, otherwise, as you guys can see, I've been very busy, got all the brakes off, everything's all off, and um, I'll go over to the car now. Got the discs off as well. can't really see but I've got um basically I've got all the brakes off <laughs> and uh I've literally already started with the brake cleaner and just cleaning down the uh, calipers okay guys so this is where we're at I've got the uh oh, got the first caliper up in the air um this is basically my test I really like as soon as this is done I can uh just want to make sure that everything comes out okay so i've like just done a last coat of brake clear just to get any shit off and um, i'm just gonna spray it with the airline now but hopefully this should come half decent i might actually cover that them up that thread up actually last thing to cover up and then uh see how the paint goes on <laughs> Okay, so this is where we're at. I'm going to finish painting today. Um, but both of the front calipers are painted. Well, first coat or second coat or whatever. Um, still got them to do. Still got the rear calipers to do. And I've literally ran out of paint. Like, there's nothing in there left. Um, so I'm going to get some more. But not too bad. But, uh... Yeah, we'll get there. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them to dry like this now. Come back tomorrow after five o'clock so they're gonna have a lot, long, long time to dry. Okay guys, so the next day after work, I've come by and given her another coat. They're actually starting to look pretty filled in now. And same with this one, it's starting to look fairly decent. And now I've uh, put the wheels away after giving them another lacquer. And uh, they're all in there. They're just uh, going to let them in there for 24 hours and bring them out in the daylight and see how he did. And I've also got the clips, which are now got some, glo um, got some lacquer on them, which they seem to have turned out. Nice, nice and shiny, very clear, not full of shit like they used to be. Okay guys, so here we go. Calipers are now off the hangers. And this is the other one down here, which to be fair, look pretty damn good. The only flaw is that I didn't tape the inside of this, um, but I might actually put newspaper or something on, on the caliper and spray this black. Uh, just to tidy it up a bit more. But as you can see, the dip, the uh, piston is nice and was nice and covered. And just this little bit where the hooks were, I just need to go over once more. And that should be that for the calipers. The back looks not too bad either, which you're never going to see anyway. But the front looks pretty damn good. Got to clean these up. And these are what it go in, like inside the caliper. Um, so yeah, these are next. With the rear brake, take this line off. Um, I'd like to take that off, but that spring does not look fun. We'll have a look at that. Take the pads out, separate the caliper to the Carrier. And yeah, we're getting there guys. We're definitely getting there. And I'm really pleased with the outcome of these. They're gonna look absolutely sick on the car. I'm gonna paint the insides of the discs black and otherwise just give them a lick of paint maybe on the edges 
just uh, get rid of that rusty surface. But these discs are literally per like they they're like new. There's no lip or anything. Back ones, maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but literally nothing. So these are good discs. Just been sat for a year. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the two number two brake. I think I don't even know what this is. These are the carriers for the caliper. I'm guessing not even quite sure to be honest. Anyway, I've got them up here, taped off the pins, and they're relatively clean. You know, brake cleaner, a bit of sandpaper. But at the end of the day, I'm never going to get all this off because this is years and years of brake dust. So. um yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these sprayed. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Um, I've obviously sprayed these, got a good coat on them, and I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry now. I've also got one of the back carriers, um, first layer as well. So yeah, we are slowly getting there. The calipers are now looking insane and i'm actually going to try and lacquer these after they're done give it a go anyway um hopefully we don't have any issues but yeah i'll go ahead come back tomorrow and hopefully everything will be dry okay guys so both calipers are now dry i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the lacquer and i've also got a couple more coats on the carriers Okay, so just finish off with the lacquer, so you guys can see. Nice and shiny. So yeah. Okay, so back to where we left off. The calipers are now dry. I've got them currently covered up um, because I just want to paint that little bit. That's Oversprayed. If I just get a bit of black on that, a little bit of black there, I'll be a happy boy. The lacquer did not go to plan, it actually started reacting a little bit, as you guys can see here. Not great at all, but I don't really want to start stripping all the paint off and starting again. So, what I've done is I've just managed to scrape off all the bad bits, all these bits back here. You're not gonna. The, like too deep into the wheel to actually for me to actually care that much but as you see here it was bad here and here i've just scraped it all off i've done some more paint um the other one didn't wasn't as bad as this one but i'm hoping that it will still come out quite nice okay guys so since i've last seen you guys done a few more coats and everything just getting everything properly painted up um, and I've also started sanding down and painting the discs so just trying to get all the rusty areas covered I've just sanded this one down as you guys can see and then I've just got these two left to do which you can see all rusty and not as pretty as they could be Okay guys, so these turned out really nice. They'll look, they'll look stunning on the car instead of that rusty shit that was like there. That's a well better. And it's just need some more coats on the rear caliper. I think this is the rear carrier and the front caliper which had the reaction. Doesn't look too, too bad at all, to be fair. Um, this is the other rear carrier, which I believe is done. Pretty good. Okay, so there we go. This is everything that's all been dry. I've taken all the tape off and everything. And to be fair, not bad at all. I reckon when they're all together, They'll look pretty good on the car. 
Yeah, not bad. A few more coats on these, and then one more uh, rear caliper to do, and then uh, we'll start reassembling them. Okay guys, so there we go. Nice and assembled now, with the S3 logo. Um, I've just had to do a little bit of a touch up here and there, just to um, get the color exactly. I'd like to um, get rid of this, but I can't do that while the caliper's still wet. But other than that, see, this is where I'd like to like still get some black paint on that just to get rid of that yellow. But, uh, so this is what we got here. Just been doing a couple more coats, um, trying to get this caliper properly coated. But otherwise, I'm gonna do a couple more coats here. I'm gonna clean the last caliper that needs to be done and get a, get a coat or two on that. And then it's home run, really. Okay guys, so this is the other caliper that I need to do. Actually painted it really well with a heat gun and got it all done. This is the one that I had hanging up originally. I think I'm gonna redo it all because this is just, it just needs a bit more sanding and prep work for it to actually come out okay. And this is just that hanger which is done. Basically, I'm just gonna let it dry overnight. I sprayed the last disc, so that's going to be the sound, as well as all the rest of them are all done. Okay, so this video is literally ongoing for about a week now, just every single day. Another video, another video, uh, little progress. This is the caliper, which I've sanded down again and redone. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get this thing perfect, because the, like, it's just like got old like cro corrosion I think it is um, underneath the original original paint so the whole thing realistically should be stripped down but I don't have a sandblaster or anything like that to actually get that properly done so I've just sanded down the parts which are bad and completely blasted the whole thing with paint again but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start reassembling the rear brake now obviously the front ones are done so I'm going to assemble this one, both of these are completely dry and uh, just that one more to go and then we are ready to move on to the car. Okay, so I've just tied it up a little bit. Um, that's that one completely done, all reassembled. Nice assembly, no smudges, no scratches, straight in. All copper grease as well, so that's all good. And then we're just waiting for this one to dry, which I'll leave it overnight. And then once this is dry, we'll assemble this one, get the discs on, and then put the calipers on. And I can't wait. The wheels are still inside the other room. Um, get them out. And yeah, we are definitely getting there. Okay guys, sorry for any wind noise, but it's the next day, as you guys can see, the wheels are back on, calipers are on, and they look absolutely perfect, even the centre of the disc we have sprayed, looks great, so yeah, really really happy with it. Um, it's turned out pretty much better than I was expecting anyway. And same this side, absolutely spot on. The 
wheels came out well as good uh, good as well so uh, yeah and as you guys can see i've got the gtr here because i've got a few bits to do to this we're just going to be in another video but um yeah so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video it may be a bit of a uh all over the place one because i recorded on multiple, multiple days but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll go ahead and see you in the next one